Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Here with me is American Ninja Warrior Failure, Michelle Watterson, uh, here to uh, tell us about a fight that's coming up. Yes, I will be fighting September 6th on UFC Fight Pass for Invicta FC 8. And in this fight, you will be fighting Yasuko Tamada, which of course in Japanese means... I'll look it up. <laughs> and uh, what technique are you going to be demonstrating for us today? Today we're going to go over the back spinning elbow. Back spinning elbow. I actually have a lot of extra skin on mine. Other, most people can't do that. I just pull down with all the extra skin. You getting that? Right. When executing the back spinning elbow, it's important to put something in front of it so that they don't know it's coming. I like to um, fake a shot. That way it makes them change their levels and puts them in perfect position for that knockout elbow. So you're going to start here, reach for that shot, he's going to sprawl and now his head is in perfect position for that elbow. Turning around and placing that elbow right on the temple and that's your knockout shot. Okay, so you ready to go full speed? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's get that headgear on. I told you, I don't need any headgear. You're going to need headgear. No, I don't. Yes, ma'am. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, missed. Here we go. Oh! Okay, I'll wear it. Okay. Here we go. Oh! And that's the back spinning elbow. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Problem number one with this technique of the back spinning elbow is I don't like the idea of setting it up with a wasted shot, okay? If I'm going to do a fake shot where I'm going to go into a takedown and put my hand anywhere near the groin, I'm just going to grab it with a reverse tiger claw, like so. Okay? <gasps> Grabbing the groin, squeezing the groin. <gasps> Next thing is I don't like turning my back and giving him all of this surface area. There are a lot of knockout points back here, okay? I don't want to make myself vulnerable, so I'm going to move my head away from his weapon, like so. Once I do that, the only other problem with this technique is the idea that you assume that it's going to knock him out with one shot. You have two elbows on your body. Unless you lost an arm in an accident. In which case, you just have one. But I have two elbows. So what I'm going to do is use both of them in a repeating, rotating fashion, like so, to knock him out. That the elbow copter. Good. All right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I'd like to thank Michelle Watterson, the Karate Hottie, for being here today. Thank you, Master Ken. Don't forget to watch me fight September 6th on UFC Fight Pass on Invicta FC 8. And remember, if you use that elbow copter on your opponent, you'll turn her into tomato soup. Unless you're fighting on an obstacle course. <laughs>